I gotta think, what am I doing with the intro? Okay. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and I grabbed me some more Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. I could not help but get some more good cop, bad cop. I said, why are we doing Scotch Malt Whiskey Society again? Bart said, because I love it, and it's yep. here, and I got some more. I bought three more of these, and then we will talk about something you can do if you want to get a Father's Day gift. And we're testing it. a little it. bit. We're going to no, test. Wait. Go. Test it! Scotch Malt, Malt Whiskey, Whiskey Society. Society style. Style. All right, we're in. But no, you said uh, if you want to get a Father's Day present, by the yes. time this airs, Father's Day is going to be over. It is, but I think the sale, well, can we move this up to the Saturday show, the next Saturday show to get it in for that Father's Day special? How about we do that? Okay. All right, just saying. Now. Um, so, if anybody caught the Good Cop, Bad Cop show, you picked this up because of the name. Yeah, solely based on the name. Right, <laughs> and their naming is good. This, I have not opened mine yet. It was honeycomb and vanilla, and it was rich. Oh, it was nice. It was good. It was nice. What was interesting was, much like tonight, we usually film in batches. We've tasted this. He actually hands me a glass of this when I'm on the phone, and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Then we tried, and I tried to call and get it. Happiness is a warm bung. First mm. of all, the name again. Good. I think when I called, I said happiness is a warm bunghole, and I got a laugh on the phone on the other end of the phone. They said no, it's happiness is a warm bung, and that's sold out. But we'll check for you, and it was indeed sold out. Um, so, with Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, you pay for like to be a member. You pay to be in, which which grants you the ability to pick these up as they do out turns every month. Now currently I think they're releasing like 14 bottles in an out turn. Here's the part though, we don't have like a member bar that has them here so we got to kind of pick them up blind. But this was unbelievable, it was still available, I got it. I said throw me something different. I usually get the peated or the lightly peated bottles. Those that don't know, this is an independent bottler. They source the cask. Sometimes they do some different things with it. And it's all cask strength. I've been doing Pete, Pete, and more Pete. You really opened me up. I mean, I was blown away by what you did with this and the sherried one. Yeah. What was the uh, Happiness is a Warm Bung? It was Oloroso? Uh, Oloroso and PX, if I remember okay. right, both exclusively yeah. matured. But and it was young though too, it was like an eight year. Yes. So. And you had handed me that after I had this one. I was like, oh my God, yeah. this is even more flavorful. Yeah. And you looked online. If you want to see the review on that, go look. So, some folks will say, hey, so you've already sold out of happiness is a warm bung, I can't even go get it. Yeah, I got it. But the whole idea is this is your chance in the States to get an independent bottler. Yeah. Now, so they are color coded by the the strap that's up top here and stuff. And the uh, different different flavor profiles. Now, I do like the the kind of the reddish orange colors. This is a 16 year old Speyside uh, ex bourbon Hogshead and first fill Oloroso uh, Hogshead 60.2 percent. I'm looking forward to this one since it's yours. I'm gonna drink it. You drink away. This is a. Uh... It's called your and then the names are great here. It's spice the main brace, so it's got like a whole sailing pirate thing. That's true. I should say um, yes. it is a bottle forty four point one one nine, and this is deliciously delicate. So this has the I always forget what is this. This is like see I don't even know these tops. I know all my this is the this is a Highland Region First Fill X Bourbon Barrel. 58% lightly airy, carefree, summery flair. Mm. Mm -mm. This is Society Cast number 26.133, out turn one of 244. All right, you poured which one, this one? Yes. Let me pour this. Very strong nose. Man, it's blasting me. I'm not even getting my nose in it. I gotta stay back. I am getting some of the um, the Oloroso, but 
but barely on the nose. It's the ABV is so high on this one. Some of those dark fruits are there. Oh yeah, sixty point two. Um, at sixteen years, I think that was one of my favorites. Five oh, five five. And I've got five five three. So you can go to ScotchTestDummies.com. I've got shirts, hats, dropper sets, coins. Like I said that. <laughs> Whew. So while he's tasting that one, this one I get vanillas, a clean mm. crisp, and a uh, almost like a pear. Interesting. Yeah, six, uh, 44.119, 16 year old. Started out with those Oloroso notes. You're getting those and moved into a more uh, flower, rosy petal uh, type note. Very nice, malty. Mm. Mm. I get vanilla. I get this floral note that I can't peg right now. I get oak. Mm. I just got lemon, lemon meringue pie. Wow. And that one bit me at first. Um, I'll take a drop of water in this one as well. And I know we both had our temperatures tested lately. I may take a sip of yours if you want to try a sip of mine. Ooh. Yeah. And that's one of the nice things. Everything's so strong that these bottles, at least for me, tend to last quite some time. Oh, yeah. Try this. Try that one. Yeah. Well, you didn't pour yourself that much. I didn't. These are strong. The force is strong with these ones, Scott. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. I prefer mine for the sherry finish, but that one. Mm. Deliciously delicate. Eight wow. Years. Banana fosters. Really? See, I got lemon meringue. Lemon meringue. That is good. That's got a lot of depth to it. Yeah. I got some coffees. Is there yeah. coffee in here? I mean, not coffee, but ooh, aromas of coffee. On a galleon. <laughs> On a galleon led to notes of nutmeg, licorice, and cinnamon with sticky figs and prunes. Wow, I did get the coffee. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I called in, here's one of the nice things you can do. You can order online. You don't have to deal with anybody. I love calling in because, one, they know you. And I said, you know what? I've been getting lots of peated. Surprise me. I said, I want this good cop, bad cop. Please get that. Vanilla, honeycomb, love it. And then I said, throw me something different. Throw me out some different things that are available. And, um, and then I just picked differently than I normally would. And you know what? I part, partly justified it. All the overtime I've been working. Yes. And if you're going to err... Air boldly. Did it. <laughs> That's one of my statements. No, uh, again, both very nice. So we are members of the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Bart bought these bottles out of pocket. These are my purchase. For, for Father's Day, uh, Ben did take care of us. He sent us yep. a bottle of uh, Sweet Taste of Victory. Yes. A 16-year-old Space Eye from a second fill ex-Bourbon Hogshead. Now, this is one of the bottles you can get if you buy a membership. Mm -hmm, the one-year membership. Which is usually $99. Right. You can get your membership and this bottle for $200, mm -hmm. which is a $50 savings. So, and then what you have, that's that bottle. You actually also could go for $150. Yeah. You could get the cast number 12.36, spicy and dry. It's called Easy Drinking and More-ish. So, that's on there. That's a 10-year space side first fill. Um, or for 175, you could get the lightly peated, and I was tempted. It's called Grill Masters Dram. It's an eight-year Campbellton. First fill, smoking complex and invigorating. Or uh, what this one is called, which is Sweet Taste of Victory. Just the name alone. And I gotta tell you, I don't know what they call it. Uh, I just pulled this down. Uh, I don't have it anymore. But that blue strap 
That blueness, something's calling me on it. The blueness? Yeah, what is it? I mean, I don't know all the regions. I got to admit, I was very peat specific. Well, it's not necessarily by beans. region. It's going to be by casking type. Okay. So you can have, um, well, which one was different? There was one here that was, um, oh, it was that one? Um, no, this one, 44. Yeah, 44, one, two, three. Now the 44 that I have has the dark maroon color. Hmm. Because it depends on the casking. Cherry Got caskings, it. anything that's going to bring gonna get the dark spicier maroon. is going to get the dark maroon. Got it. Uh, that color, stuff like that. The vanillas, I can't remember yeah. how they cover them. So vanillas. Green is your eyelids. Is usually peated, and they've peated. got a lighter green is the yeah. light peated. The darker green is the heavily peated. Mm -hmm. um, and I got to admit, I've been so blown away by the peats that I'm always leaning toward that. If you look back here on my wall, you see mostly the, the greens. And I thought after what Scott did with with the good cop bad cop and then what he did with happiness is a warm bug i was like i'm missing out yep i need to broaden <laughs> i need to widen my expectations so and i called and said just tell me some things that you're hearing good stuff about and that's part of the now i did it. get just speaking i mean I, i've got all the colors though but then just recently that with their um the festival bottlings i did get the art bag and the buna in both have you tried them so, yet? The art bag has not been opened yet. Okay. But the Boone oven has. I saw those come out. Actually, when I first called and was locking this in, yeah, they were getting ready to go live with that whole Fiesta bottling. And I was like, sorry, guys, called you at a bad time. Yeah. So now, the, so one of the problems with the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is they've really they've they've gotten so big. Yeah, so popular um, that now, some of these so, bottles sell out quick. Well, this is a single cask. Yes. I mean, when you take a single, and that's what they do. That's what the Scotch Malt Whiskey right. Society does. They have a few bottlings now. Just in the last couple of years, that are blends. They did blend some some sherries. Right. They did blend the um, exotic peats, cargo, the, the peat peat fairy. fairy. But 99.9% of what the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society does are single bottlings. Right. They go to McAllen, they go to Ardbeg, they go to Boonahoven, they get a single cask. They finish the aging, maybe yes. they move it to another barrel. Do whatever. And then they sell it. Alchemy. You're limited on the bottles. Right. Just take this one, this 16-year-old, there are... Uh, There's a list of numbers. Somewhere. Yeah, here's... Here's Outturn, one of 256 right on the front. What is that? Oh, one of 222. Yeah. So 200, there's only 222 bottles of this one, and there's 10,000 people that want it. Right. Well, well not everybody wants yeah, it. Sure. You got 10,000 people in the queue that may want it. So things are getting a little tight there. I think what the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is going to have to do, they're going to have to start upping their offerings. You can't, you can't up the number of bottles that come out of a single cask. Right. Well, I guess you could if you water it down. I'm doing something they don't wrong because do this is one of 275. This is one of 244. Uh -huh. This is one of 256. Yeah. Well, it depends on the barrel size and it depends on how old it is. Got it. The, the longer it ages, the less bottles you're going to get. Sure. Um, sherry butts are bigger. Hogs heads are bigger. Barrels are smaller. So, I mean, it depends on what it's in and how old it is. Got it. Anytime you say sherry butts are bigger. <laughs> that one's good. Do you like that one? I do. So That's that was this that one. one. This is the spice the main brace. Yep. Hmm. All right. So uh, Patreon shout out to Ooh. we have a ten dollar supporter Ooh. came in on Patreon. With some gusto, baby. Daniel, Daniel Ho! H-U-L-L. -L. Oh, oh. Goes right along Daniel with Spice Hole. the Main Brace. Now, Daniel, you can get two shout-outs. Ooh, yeah, if you can you send a photo. You can send us a photo. What do you if you want. Do? If you want. You got to cover the pickle. The pickle has to be covered. Has to be covered. Um, as we say. If you want. So. Some don't send a photo. Some do. Yeah. If you send a photo, we'll call you out again. Show said photo. <laughs> it's an option. All right. Well, thank do, you. Do go check out the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society if you're at all interested. Um, it is $99 for a year. Um, it is 
steep. I mean, it's pricey uh, for some people. Okay. It's worth it. I mean, you get some good whiskeys. You get, now the thing is though too, what this teaches me, what this has taught me is that enjoy the whiskey, drink it. When it's gone, it's gone. Re remember it. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Go to the next bottle. Yeah. Um, you get the little all turn magazine. Well, mm -hmm. not you get an online deal, but then you get the what do they call the magazine that comes quarterly? Can't remember. Unfiltered. Yes. God, that's good. You're so good at that. <laughs> Off the cuff, I just hit you with something. You get it. Unfiltered. That's it. We were in an episode. We had a little segment. <laughs> All right, go to scotchtestdummies.com. Check out our merchandise. I think you already covered that. I did. Earlier. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>